I'm Johnny, and I'm an acquired brain injury survivor. On 2013, April 23rd, my life flipped upside down. I was dropping my fiance and son off before I headed to work. And moments later, as I was driving on the 401, somebody rear-ended me going 130. I broke my back in multiple places, and my neck was wrapped around my headrest. My brain was hemorrhaged in three spots, and I was left with a catastrophic brain injury. Chelsea and I were engaged at the time of the accident, and we got married four months later. Yet we had no idea the long, hard road we had ahead of us. At the time of the accident, I worked for an adventure-based program for at-risk youth. We took our students on expeditions every five to six weeks, kayaking, canoe trips, backpacking, dog sledding, ice climbing. I loved my job. I loved the outdoors, and I loved being active. After the accident, I, I lost all of that. We had to teach our students how to be prepared for the unexpected and the unplanned. Like if a bear walks into camp, or if your canoe flips and you end up in the rapids or in the river. At the time of the accident, um, I kind of felt like my canoe flipped, so to speak. Um, and I was not prepared at all. I started cooking for my family a lot as a way to contribute and as a, a creative outlet. My occupational therapist one time uh, suggested that I try project-based therapy. I love the idea of non-traditional therapy, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, so I decided to start a blog called Medical Therapy just to document my journey and to share our experience and what I was learning. And um, eventually, uh, I started making charcuterie boards um, for an edible therapy for the blog. And that like took me down all these new creative roads and I started really enjoying woodworking. And I really, really wanted to get a tattoo to commemorate our journey. Um, just something that would capture the depth of our struggle and the growth, I guess we had. I met Jordan uh, soon after he opened Carousel. And um, pretty much right away, after seeing his amazing work and meeting him, I knew I wanted him to create my piece. Chels, a little while after that, got me a piece of art as a gift, and it was entitled The, the Long Road. I took the picture to Jordan, and I told him about my story, and, uh, and that led to, um, to, to this, getting the tattoo done. So it's pretty exciting, and I'm just really happy uh, that I've come this far. I'm Jordan Campbell. I'm an artist and owner of Carousel Tattoo and Barbershop in Port Luzi. So when Johnny first contacted me about uh, his tattoo, um, we chatted a little bit and he told me his story and I just thought it was such an incredible story um, that we needed to do something more than just a tattoo. And after talking and throwing around ideas, we got this crazy idea, why not do it in a way that tells the story so that the tattoo experience itself is as meaningful as the imagery. Why don't we do this outside in a place that really captures the imagery and inspiration of the tattoo? So obviously there was a lot more involved in preparing for this tattoo because of how we were doing it. I really wanted to get some great inspiration for this tattoo. Um, um, so I spent some time walking down to the beach, looking out in the water and got this idea. Why don't we do it on the Niagara Gorge? And the whole idea of doing it there at the gorge was uh, basically the image itself was inspired by, by the river there and, and the turbulent waters and all that. It really spoke to the, to the tattoo itself. 
so then came the drawing time and uh, the difficult part of that is always translating that idea and the story that the image is supposed to convey and the emotion and impact it, it needs to have into an actual physical drawing. But over time, I think we got the right image. This whole experience with Carousel has been absolutely incredible. It's been a really amazing way to honor my accident and the recovery process. I want people to remember that, that there's always hope um, after tragedy.